So you're playing Fortnite and you're sick of landing in towns and cities that are overpopulated every match. And you're looking for some good landing spots that not everyone knows or might get you away from the beginning Zerg. Well, I happen to go on an adventure to find some really good double chest spawns and give you a few hidden chest spots you may never known about. Let's dive right into that. Chest spot number one, Moisty Mire. Moisty Mire has to be one of the most underrated starting points in the game. Not only is there triple chest spawns, there's a double chest spawn and few other stragglers around the swamps. On top of that, there's so many gun spawns and med and shield spawns everywhere. And not to mention the trees that you chop down there give you tons of resources, tons of wood. So make sure the next time you're diving down and looking for a spot to go, pick Moisty Mire. Because not only are you going to be able to pick up a ton of chests, but when people are running through those swamps or trying to get to guns too, you're going to find yourself a bold action. And well, yeah, you see what happens. Chest spot number two, the broken down battle bus. The battle bus has crashed and it left some of those sweet guns that everyone looted at the lobby. This spot's pretty good because it puts you kind of in the central spot of the map, so it won't be hard to get into the circle when it pops. And there's some guns lying around, so it's a pretty good starting point. Chest spot number three, the ice cream truck. This spot is really close to the pre-built tower houses near the Wailing Woods. It has a double chest spawn, and after you get done looting it, you have plenty of places to go after. Pretty good spot. Chest spot number four, the Tree of Life. This spot is all the way over near Greasy Grove and high up on the mountains. After you get done looting the chest, you can chop down that tree and get huge resources and go on your way to looting all the chests around in the open. Chest spot number five, the underground tunnel. This spot is pretty hidden away and not many people know about this. Once you make your way through the tunnel, there's a wall you can break down and find a double chest spawn and some ammo boxes can be up. Now you're ready to run over to Tomato Town and clean up all the remaining players. Good luck. Chest spot number six, Luck of the Irish Tree. This place is right by the underground tunnel in Tomato Town. There's a couple of chests to loot, some guns at the top of the hill near the trailer, and you can head right over to the houses and start battling. Clean up everybody. It's a really fun place to land. Chest spot number seven, the Wailing Woods Secret Hideout. Behind the Wailing Woods is a pre-built tower on a house. And this area comes loaded with three chests right near each other. After you get done snagging them all up, you can head right over to the ice cream truck that we talked about earlier. And there's a double chest on there, remember? So it's a really good place to land. Chest spot number eight, Camp Retail Row. Behind Retail Row is a nice little camp. And there's a double chest spawn in the very top of the barn. There's another chest spawn close by, so it's a nice little place to land and pick up three chests and guns laying all around. And after you pick up those chests and those guns, you can head over to Retail Row and clean everybody up. It's a really fun strategy. Try it. I think you're going to enjoy it. Chest spot number nine, Flush Bridge. This magical bridge is right next to the Flush Factory and holds two chests inside the bridge and down below on the ice cream truck. This drop spot has to be one of my favorite spots because it's a part of my loot route. Chest spot number 10. Lonely Tower. Alright, the Lonely Lodge has to be one of my least favorite places to go, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to tell you this double chest one. Because maybe some of you land here and you didn't know, and you love the Lonely Lodge, which I don't know why. Can they please buff this place just a little bit? Like, just a little bit? Because I feel like there's only a few places to get guns and if you don't get them, dude, you're dead. Everyone crushes you. And last but not least, but certainly the best, chest spot number 11, the truck stop. This has to be one of the secret best spots in the game. This place can spawn four chests right next to each other and a fifth one really, really close. That's a whopping five chests in about a minute run. And they're all right next to each other. When you land there and you find all the chests up, it's absolutely insane. And it's really, really close to Moisty Mire. And as we know, not a whole lot of people land at Moisty Mire. So if you're able to get all these chests, then head over to Moisty Mire. You're set for the game. You are going to win the game. So the next time you don't know where to go when the bus is moving, and you're not really feeling like landing in a city or in a town, then remember the truck stop. Because I'm telling you, not a whole lot of people land here. And you are going to get fully loaded on gear to fight everybody. And also, try my route out. Truck stop, Moisty Mire, 
then go to the prison, clean everybody up, and win the game. Well, that's pretty much all the double chest spawns that I personally know. Now I'm going to get into some hidden chests. Before we wrap this video up, I wanted to quickly note that all over the world there are hidden chests. And though I can't show you them all because I'm really not exactly sure where all of them are, I can give you an idea of where a few of these little diamonds are hidden. Make sure you check every little nook and cranny to uncover those hidden chest spawns that might give you a shield mid-match and could be the difference between winning a fight or losing one. Let me know in the comments below if I missed any double chest spawns or hidden chest spawns and let us know where they are exactly. Also, let me know what your favorite place to loot is in Fortnite Battle Royale. Thank you very much for watching guys. Make sure to share this, thumbs up this, subscribe. It would mean so much to me. And I hope you guys find all those chests out there. I'll see you in the next one.